Every Black History Month, uh, so many kids swarm this museum in downtown Little Rock. And throughout February, the Mosaic Templars Culture Center is open for events, lectures, and group tours. Adam Bledsoe and I visited this museum this week, and we quickly learned why this center deserves all, all our support year-round. Thousands of people drive by this building in downtown Little Rock every day. This week's Discover Arkansas is at the Mosaic Templars Cultural Center. When you walk through the museum, there are over a dozen walls filled with powerful information. For example, this one talks all about Ninth Street. Yeah, in the 20s, other African American communities used Ninth Street as a model on how to develop their communities. I was a police officer and I'm intrigued by this. Why is this such an important part of the museum? Well, Clarence's story is really unique in that he started as one of the first black officers with the Little Rock Police Department. And at the time, he could not uh, make arrest on West 9th Street where his beat was. Um, he had to, he could detain people and then he had to wait for the white officer to arrive to make the arrest. And Clarence Hunter actually rises through the department, eventually becoming the deputy chief of police, who is the, as we know, the person in charge of making arrests. Mariel, what exactly is the Mosaic Templars? Adam, I just read that it is a black fraternal organization that was founded in Little Rock in 1882. So here you can also pick from movies to watch and listen. For example, A Young Lady's Perspective, or you can pick music. I think I'm gonna go with music. We regularly change our displays, so um, we're actually going through a process right now to completely remodel our first floor exhibit because we recognize that there were West 9th Street types of districts all over this state. Mary, it's difficult for me to fathom that this was okay in our society. Yeah, so this shows a piece of a wall that reads white and colored that was over water fountains during the segregation era. This was found in Little Rock on Main Street during Reconstruction in 2005. Something I've really enjoyed about this museum is that it is so specific to Arkansas history. What I appreciate about it is it's very easy to navigate through. It's set up like a timeline. Yeah, and that really makes it simple. I mean, we always think about African-American Arkansan history as the Little Rock Nine, and don't get me wrong, that's important, but there's so much more, and the timeline really helps organize that. 